John, the recent IPCC report said that we need to reduce climate, uh, planet warming emissions by 50% in 10 to 15 years. Um, to hold steady at two degrees of warming, um, which is a staggering challenge. Can we meet this challenge? Uh, and we'll get into the how after the can we. I, that, that is the question. Uh, I want to do a little bit of, I'm, I'm an engineer from Rice University. I want to do a little Rice math with you for a second. If we have to reduce, as the IPC says, net greenhouse gas emissions by 50%, between now and 2030, maybe 2035, but let's just say 10 years, in order to have a 50-50 chance of living in a world with a 1.5 degrees centigrade increase in temperature, which is a huge change, that means every year we've got to reduce net emissions by 6%. 6% next year in 2020, 6 more percent in 2021 to get a 50% reduction. I want to tell you, we have never reduced greenhouse gas emissions on our planet, ever. They've only gone up. Mm -hmm. And there's no reverse gear. We cannot unemit them once they're there. And they're in the atmosphere for thousands of years, wreaking havoc on the world we live in. We're going to live with our kids. So the engineer in me says, no, we're screwed. The optimist in me says, we've got exactly as much time as we need, mm -hmm. no more, to solve this problem. Because it's fundamentally a problem of speed and scale, scale and speed, speed and scale. We've got to take every element of our energy infrastructure and system and reimagine and recreate it so that we have zero net carbon emissions by 2050. How many think that we can cut greenhouse gas emissions by 50% in 10 years? How many think we can't? That's the challenge of our generation. There's two tracks to be pursued. One of them is for 2030 and beyond, where we get to net zero emissions. That means we've got to make steel without using carbon. We've got to make concrete without using carbon. We've got to grow crops without emitting carbon. And in fact, we've got to pull carbon back out of the atmosphere. That's what I call the technical track.